here amid the palm trees and the outstanding weather on the beautiful island of Hainan. We're here in Haiko, the provincial capital of Hainan, and it's the perfect place for me to explore the rest of the island away from the bustle of the forum. And as the event comes to a close, many of the guests are choosing to stay here a little longer for both business and pleasure. And it's a good opportunity to get a closer look at the island's unique culture, history, development and environment. Haiko, a major port city and tourist destination in China, was made the provincial capital in 1988, when the establishment of Hainan Province and the Hainan Special Economic Zone also took place. Over the past three decades, Hainan has transformed itself from a remote and underdeveloped island into China's largest special economic zone. Its GDP reached about 71 billion US dollars in 2017, an increase of an annual average of 8.1% since 2012. These changes are clear to visitors in Boao, a small fishing town that was once little known to the outside world. Just coming to Wow, you feel the change in terms of the logistics, the infrastructure, right from the airport to here and back, that's what we saw. The roads, the highways, the greenery, and uh, happiness. You see people, uh, above all this comes happiness, I believe. And you see people happy. And also uh, much more self-confidence and much more desire to excel even more. Although it's one of China's newest provinces, Hainan's opening up dates back hundreds of years, starting right here in Haiko. This is Chilo Old Street, a popular hotspot for both tourists and locals alike, and it's a great place to find out more about Hainan's history and lifestyle. The street is a core landmark in Haiko's historical area, well known for its stylish integration of European and Asian architectures and cultures. Haiko opened its doors to foreign trade in 1858 and soon became a commercial hub. Since then, it has handled more than half of the island's total trade. Chino Street used to house consulates, churches, post offices and banks of more than a dozen countries. But Haiko's history of foreign contact stretches back even before reform and opening up right into the 19th century. And you can see this international aspect everywhere, from the old embassy buildings to the Baroque style architecture here. Perfect examples of the fusion between Chinese tradition and Western style. Today, the ties between China and the Western world are growing even stronger. Chinese President Xi Jinping on Friday announced the decision to develop Hainan into a pilot-free trade zone the island is set to take on a much bigger role in expanding China's reform and opening up in all aspects. 